Gastrocell pingogram, or HSG, is an x-ray dye test that's used to evaluate both the inside of the uterus to check to make sure that the inside of the uterus is nice and smooth and that there are no abnormalities like polyps or fibroids present that could interfere with the patient getting pregnant or staying pregnant. The HSG also has the advantage of evaluating the tubes to make sure that they're open or patent. A sonohistogram is a saline or water ultrasound that is used primarily to evaluate the inside of the uterus or the uterine cavity. It can check for abnormalities like polyps or fibroids like an HSG can, but it's a little more specific for this indication. It, however, does not give us any information about whether or not the tubes are open. An HSG is an x-ray dye test that can be performed either in radiology or in some offices such as our office at the center. We have a small examination room where we have a machine to do this. It's very comfortable. It's a very small machine. The patient um, oftentimes takes uh, some medication before the HSG, something like Advil or Aleve ibuprofen to help with cramps. The test only takes a few minutes and is often comparable to menstrual cramps. So patients will state that they feel crampy like their period and that cramping ends when the examination is over. The way we do the test is we place a speculum in the vagina, we clean the cervix with a little bit of soap and we place a very small thin flexible catheter into the cervix and advance it into the uterus and then we instill or put in a small amount of um, x-ray contrast dye which is just a clear solution that goes into the uterus and then we take some pictures and we watch on the screen and the patient can see this as well as it's happening. We watch the uterus fill up with dye and then if the tubes are open you see the dye spill out on both sides and that's the end of the test. The HSG is a common test that is performed as part of a complete infertility evaluation um, to check to see if a woman's tubes are open and check the inside of her uterus. It's also important for patients that are planning to move forward with treatment that involves ovulating and having inseminations where we need to rely on open tubes to have a woman become pregnant. If a woman is moving forward with in vitro as the planned treatment option, it may be possible to do the sonohistogram instead of the HSG uh, because it is not necessary to have open tubes to get pregnant with in vitro fertilization. A common reason that we perform sonohistograms would be if someone is planning to move forward with in vitro fertilization or if we're trying to get a better look at the inside of the uterus to evaluate for abnormalities like polyps or fibroids or if a woman has a condition like abnormal bleeding. Thank you.